definitely not getting this way home. <laughs> As I was saying, it's good to find out where it floods. All right, everybody, quick update over here. Um, we just had Hurricane Florence come through and we decided to pop out on the lots and take a look to see what's going on. We currently have everything mowed down after uh, the electric company came out. They have the poles all laid out down the road, getting ready to uh, throw those around and, um, you know, stand those up, not throw them around. What am I talking about? Anyway, there's a massive pile of wood chips over here. Not sure why it's near my lot, but I'll take them. I'll take all the wood chips I can get. Um, that'll work good for my permaculture stuff. And I just wanted to show you guys so far what the progress looks like. Um, and just to take a look, the main reason we came out here is after Hurricane Florence, we just wanted to see how well the lot holds up to water. And we have a few standing spots of water, but literally nothing big at all. I mean, this is more than more than uh, easily dealt with, with a driveway of gravel, no big deal. It was pretty difficult to get here, and I would definitely recommend if you have a lot or a piece of land to go out and do an assessment in a big rainstorm just to see what it, what it looks like so you can build appropriately. Um, if you see that water is moving in a certain direction or across your land or stays in some spots, you might need to do proper drainage. So I'm gonna go around, take some photos, um, just so I remember this down the road when we're building um, so I can tell my subs what to do and uh, prepare properly uh, for the next rainstorms when we're actually living out here. Um, the other thing to get here, um, now I know which way to get here and which roads will be closed when there's bad flooding. Um, so that will help a lot, but other than a little mud out here, really not too bad. Um, definitely survivable, and the lot is obviously going to be really muddy, but other than a little bit of standing water, really not bad at all for such a crazy thunderstorm that we had and for the amount of rain that came down. I think they were promising over a foot, so let's just take a peek. We've got a couple of little puddles, but really... For the most part, I mean, it's wet, but there's no serious standing water. And thankfully, I don't know if you guys can tell on the horizon line, but basically from starting from over there and coming down this way, we have a pretty good slope. So that helps quite a bit with uh, keeping the water flowing away from the home. So there's the quick update. Electric is getting ready to come in. So hopefully that'll happen here in the next little while. Um, one other thing to note, um, the price of the land as we're holding it has already increased and i will make another quick video about that um, next time for um, just kind of the positives of owning land for i guess speculative purposes for making money on it um, and that's just something i'll throw out there too so uh, you guys can have the pros and cons for doing something like that all righty guys you know what to do if you like this video thumbs up if you hated it Give me a thumbs down, dislike it, whatever you want to do. Uh, leave me a comment what you think, and if you have any other ideas, or if we should have done more in preparation for the storm. And we still don't have a ditch or a culvert, so I'm just looking forward to that getting put in already. Um, supposed to be by Department of Transportation, I was told, uh, by the land clearing guys, but it's been over two months, nothing's happening. I don't know if they're held up by um, all the other things and aspects that need to happen with electric and everything else, but. At this point, I might just pay to get one in myself. And guys, I'm looking at the lots that we had moved from. You can see the much more hilly approach on this one. Um, our lot is a little bit flatter with a little less of a incline, but you can see that they're a little bit more wet on this end, um, which is one of the main reasons we moved away from it, because it was kind of messy up in there the first time we saw it go through a storm. And actually the second lot we went to was right there, and there's a bunch of standing water all over the driveway. So really glad we didn't go with that, that route. Not getting this way home. <laughs> As I was saying, it's good to find out where it floods, how it floods. This is literally a thousand feet away. Um, but I'm glad ours is a little bit hillier and a little higher up, which is exactly what I was shooting for. So this is crazy. It's moving like a river down there. Very crazy.